So the Resonate study is a 391 uh, patient randomized phase 3 study that you know, was this for relapse CLL that was designed with the primary endpoint of extending progression-free survival and the secondary endpoints of overall survival and response rate and toxicity. The um, primary endpoint of the study was, you know, was made um, where progression-free survival was significantly extended. The hazard ratio was, was phenomenal, it was 0.24. The, and at six months, the you know, progression-free survival on abrutinib was 88% versus 65% for ofatumumab, the comparator therapy. Um, survival was also prolonged at, ten, at one year, it was 90% with ibrutinib versus 81% with ofatumumab. Yeah, the, that was despite a crossover design that, that was initiated after 57 patients enrolled on the ofatumumab uh, arm and had progressed. Uh, response was higher with ibrutinib, and for all, for all the parameters, uh, response, progression-free survival, and overall survival, you know, the benefit was seen across all genetic groups among patients who were nucleoside analog refractory, uh, elderly patients. Um, this, this, in terms of side effects, uh, you know, with, with the, you know, on the trial, both, uh, both arms were, uh, of therapy were acceptably tolerated. You know, there were some side effects that came out that were more apparent with ibrutinib. You know, there were mild, mild infections, mild bruising. You know, there was some ocular side effects that was just that was mild, board vision, and and um, there was a higher frequency of atrial fibrillation and diarrhea. In the ofatumumab arm, there were more infusion events, obviously, and you know, peripheral neuropathy came out as something that had not been previously uh, been associated with ofatumumab.